hello. We are so happy that you are here with us for another video week of live stream flow, sort of, kind of. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we just love making these videos for you guys. Um, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Elizabeth, there's a lamb in our house. On the flow video. I'm trying to go to your bottom. <laughs> Is no one else bothered by this? Is this okay? Is this a good thing? Do we have we have a lamb in our house, guys? I don't really know why. Do, do you think maybe it has something you're, to do? You're being silly. <laughs> I'm getting your kid Maggie dressed up in a costume. Oh, Maggie, it's you. <laughs>
canonize a saint until after you have died. So even though you may be living a you very saintly life, a saint. you won't know if you're a saint. You might become a saint. You might become a saint. Okay. But I might become the daughter. a saint. But Jesus says, I want to become a saint. If anyone follows me, I will lead them safely on their journey to the fullness of everlasting life. Right? So he's just talking about how if we follow him and we trust in him, he's going to give us what we need to get to heaven. But we can't follow him. We can't even see him. This is a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what are some ways that we do it instead? We pray the book of Matthew. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the nice We watch the Ten Commandments so we can actually do some things that are like in Ten Commandments. Not the like real bad killing things. No, no, no. Don't do those things. You're right. So the Ten Commandments no, weird. tell us a, they're a set of rules, right? It tells us what, what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Okay. Bob, 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 I'm a sheep. Now, one last thing that I really like about this gospel reading too. I, I love this one. It's so wonderful. Um, but one part I like is that they say in here, like the shepherd, Jesus will stay with us always. Forever. Isn't that great? Forever. So he'll always be our shepherd. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're actually going to sing a song today, but before we do not, that, not this song. Before we do that, <laughs> not we need to do our activity, right? <laughs> and yes. So, so did for, we forget to listen to the song? Thing? Uh, no, I'll play it. Okay. All right. So, uh, today for our activity, we are going to make sheep faces, and so we've made three. We have Matthew, Bob. And Lammy. Now, to make these faces, <laughs> faces. They're really faces. cute. Yeah. <laughs> they're really cute. And and so to make these faces, you need white poster board. Um, it's just, it'll stay up better if it's poster board. It can just be a white piece of paper, but we use white poster board. You will need cotton balls. I don't know where the cotton balls went over there, but. Maybe marshmallows, huh? Or even marshmallows, but. I don't think those would stay on as well. Right, sure. It might be harder, but if you don't have cotton balls, you could use marshmallows. Um, but like we, we didn't have cotton balls, so we ran down to Walgreens and we got cotton balls and we got poster board so and we got some pencils so, anyway uh so yeah we just kind of made a run to Walgreens and got um uh cotton balls and poster board so if you are the same as us you don't have white poster board and cotton balls sitting around just make a run to Walgreens or CVS anyway, or even the art store anyway okay so what you're gonna do is you, so we used a bowl, but you can use any kind of thing that's kind of as, it's circular, it's about as big as your face. And so stick this on a table like that, and then trace it. And then once that is traced, so yeah, you trace it with a pencil, and then you should have a circle. And then, okay. Um, and then, then you're gonna take a smaller thing. We used a smaller bowl and put it in the middle of the outside one. Just try and make it even on each side, and then trace it again. And then, so by now y'all have something. This is a really bad drawing of it, but something like that. Um, and so then you're gonna cut it. So. And it's just cool if you finish cutting. Then I'll be able to see the pencil. Okay. Okay. And then so you're gonna cut that. Cut 
cut, 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 cut the middle out. Cut the outside out, so cut it out. Cut it out. And then, and then you'll have a ring of poster board. Then you're gonna take glue, and then you're gonna glue it on that ring of poster board. Then you're gonna take your cotton balls, which we don't have over here, but then you're just gonna stick them on. And then to cut, to cut out the ears, you don't need to do ears, but if you want to, we just use the excess scraps and may just um, randomly cut triangles. And then, um, and then so you cut those out. And then you can put fuzz like on the outside and then leave a little bit blank on the inside or you can just leave it blank. So I can do it here. Um, Bob. And then, and then, now, yeah, so that's basically it. And, then the bell. and yeah, okay, okay. if you were wondering, at the beginning, it was a little bit shorter because we never said our names. And we were saving that to write on our bells. So you're going to take a yellow piece of paper and just cut it in the shape of a cowbell. It really doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and then you're going to glue it, and you'll write your clone name on it. We use really, me, and that's Bob over there. We use very classic clone names. I was Matthew, and she was Bob. But then Maggie came up with um, um, a more timely clone name. Called Lammy. Which matches her today. But So, yeah, this is just like. Hamburger, I know you go by hamburger a lot, so you might want to do hamburger. Um, and yes, everyone at home with your clone names. Yes, yeah, write them clone down. Name. Now, why are we doing this, Elizabeth? What does this have to do with the gospel? Um, because uh, Jesus knows each of us by name. Jesus knows each of us by name. And of course he knows our name, our, you know, our name given to us at birth. During our baptisms, right? The one that God. God. But I think you could also know us by our clone names. Why not, right? So, everyone, show us your clone names. All right, here we go. I'm Bob. That's a shout out to all the Bobs out there because we miss you. <laughs> Gotta represent. But Mike, hope you make one too. Who are you, Elizabeth? I'm Matthew. Shout out to all the Matthew, Mark, Luke's, and Johns. Yes. And Maggie, what was your name?